And the ship's wise men will remind you once again That the whole wide world is watching Okay, so... The writings of Walt Whitman are ridiculously a prophetic treasure trove. Every single poem, prophetic in nature, having to do with the last days and the kingdom to come. Here we are, of course, at Fort Greene Park, the very park that Walt Whitman founded during the times of the Revolutionary War. Um, this park, this fort saw a battle right from the view that I'm staring at right now. They advanced from the south. But behind me, where Fort Putnam is, that's what it was called back then, um, the British never advanced onto the fort. And that's prophetically symbolic that the daughter of Zion will never be touched. Now what you see on your screen is a poem Walt Whitman wrote called Beginners. And this is a prophecy, a detailed glimpse into what it will be like for the saints of God who are redeemed on the new heaven and earth that God will just be created. I mean, we're, these days are dawning upon us. And how these saints of God in their redemptive state will be in their relationship to the world to America to the nations now you know the scriptures do say and people you know we're living in a time of resurrection um, people get resurrected people transform but when judgment day comes that transformation and that, and that resurrected mightier human is going to be even mightier it's only a shadow of what's to come. The Book of Mormon tells us this. I don't know the chapter or verse offhand, but what you have in your screen is a poem I just want to invite people to meditate on and study on their own if you have the spiritual eyes to see. Now here's another poem that is just before beginners, actually. I'm going a little bit out of order. But it literally reflects what it's going to be like after God's judgment a new heaven and a new earth is going to be born the earth is going to transform a paradigm shift is going to take place our bodies are going to be changed we're going to be rewarded according to our works rewarded and judged according to our works whether unrighteous or righteous so this is the joy of the saints the joy of the righteous, those who have done the commandments and kept the testimony of Jesus Christ. This is their first baby's breath, their, their first step in their walk with God. It's an amazing poem. Now lastly, I'm just going to give a little bonus poem for people to meditate on. This is a poem that Walt Whitman wrote for Christ in his second coming, but really the revelation he revealed is that it's really about everybody. As the last line says, but I see that what I was reserving belongs to you just as much as to any. We are all called to be rebels in Christ. We are all called to be a light on a hill. We are all called to be in the world, but not of it. We are all called to be a peculiar people. And the saints of God surely will be doing that. Re literally retransforming history, rewriting history, and making a clear path for generations to come of truth, righteousness, light. I pray this edifies you guys. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you.